What positive impacts do you think will come from COVID-19? As a legally blind person who's been frustrated for years about job prospects and finding something where I don't have to commute, COVID has been a godsend. Food delivery is great too. The downside is the increased cost of these items factoring in the cost of delivery. I guess if I'm not paying for any car ownership expenses it probably balances out. Organizations with abysmally slow internet connections that have not been updated in decades will do so in order to support video conferencing. More help for people with disabilities. Online ordering. Grocery delivery. Food delivery. It's been nice. Saves me energy when I can make an order for something and do a contactless pickup and they just put it in my car when I drive up. Not everyone has energy to spare for simple things like groceries or errands. A lot more curbside shopping and food options. It's already mitigated the stigma associated with working at home. People might finally start washing their hands. I'm hoping that bathrooms in restaurants will become completely hands-free. I hate that the pull side of the door is on the inside and usually there's no paper towel dispensers anymore to use as a glove to touch the sink door handles. My blind GF and I are already seeing more video appointments. This is something she has wanted since forever since she can't drive. Now, insurance is taking doctor and therapy appointments. There are many pickup options for stores at only little or no extra cost. This is good for someone who can't handle walking in the store. I'm mildly physically handicapped and walking over 10 minutes hurts. So this is fantastic for people who are like me and worse. There are more delivery options for people who don't drive. But I can see mask wearing while sick becoming more popular in the States even after this settles down. Which will help healthy people not get sick as much with colds and help protect the vulnerable who might not handle the everyday cold as well. There's more. But that's my two cents. More employers might realize that jobs can be done remotely allowing more flexibility, more work from home positions might open up. Hygiene. I'm usually sick all the time, but I haven't been sick a day since lockdown. We've been open back up for months now with social distancing and extra hygiene measures in place. Everywhere. It's stunning. My kids haven't been sick either. It's like a miracle. Who knew people's gross hands and spittle was impacting my life so much? I think a lot of people are realizing how terrible some of their relationships have been. Whether it be with employers, spouses, family, etc. And I think a lot of people are just taking a lot less shit from people. I also think so many have revisited past hobbies. Or taken up new ones. Or truly became reacquainted with feeling at home in their homes. I think both these things will result in a lot of people just slowing down and reassessing what or who is worth keeping around in life. I know that's certainly been the case for me. I also think a large number of people who have experienced working from home will now refuse to make commuting a part of their workday, which will eventually lead to a lot of changes to how we work. This may eventually lead to changes to housing prices in different areas etc. I think people are going to be a lot more conscious of germs and just public surfaces in general. I know for me it's something I think about constantly now. Some people may not agree but I'm really hoping all the online ordering and contactless delivery keeps going. People with the flu, cold wearing masks and taking precautions to not infect others. Seriously, pre-COVID I can't explain with exasperation the amount of times I've seen people that were clearly sick, coughing, wheezing, and sneezing just carrying on about their lives like it doesn't affect those around them. 
I normally get sick with colds and other upper respiratory infections an average of 1.5 times a season. Spring and summer went without me getting sick. It could be the quarantining. But I think masks do make a difference. I am hoping it becomes culturally acceptable to wear masks similarly to how normal it is in parts of Asia. Drive-in movies making a comeback. I have started seeing family more regularly online playing games I had no idea about. Jackbox.tv It's been fun and never would have happened without the pandemic. Plus older family members are bored and want to talk for literally an hour about mundane stuff. I've learned a lot about them that I'd never known my whole life. Plus my dogs get a ton more exercise and I've saved money not going out plus I am eating healthier with my own cooking. Reduce carbon emissions I guess, from the lack of cars on the road. People might prefer woking from home, which means more jobs and flexibility for businesses. It would be kinda similar to day and night shifts if you know what I mean. Sociologically, I hope we see paid sick days become normal. In the US, scientifically, I hope we can learn from this to develop good vaccines for a bunch of other existing diseases that have eluded us so far. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.